like a spare knife. Uh, there is a there is a knife. I don't know whether you would like to just do a little bit. I think I might just put a knife in. I it. think that's a really good idea. See if it works. Oh yes, oh, it does. Beautifully. Beautifully. Somebody else could finish it off. Do the rest of it. Well done. <laughs> Here we have a lady called Zan, I think I believe it is, who identifies as a non-binary and who's complaining that her family have disowned her because she's joined the TST. To which James Hines gives advice that her family are not worth wasting time upon. Grooming vulnerable people into turning away from their families. And what is it with these disturbing imagery James Hyde is putting out into the public domain? This man is clearly a map and a predator hiding in plain sight. Some of the dribble he's come out about me is worth a second look. Thank goodness the President of the United States has got his truth channel coming out. Tiger Janice promoting me. What makes it more vile that it brought in my kids? And here's my magical, imaginary girlfriend. I love you, babe. The new series are all grace. When are we going to get Brighton Beast? Killed his mother, Gov. Let it be. I hate being a conspiracy theorist. Leave her alone, you nasty bully. Dastardly James Hine and his sidekick Muttley. Bullying. An old age pensioner. Recovering alcoholic. An MKA. MK Ultra. The victim. Bullying at its worst. Here we have the mouse saying that I should be grateful to the likes of Plisco and Danny Jones. Let me assure all of you, all they've done is brought me misery. Plisco ringing up my magical imaginary girlfriend, telling her to get a new man because I'll be going to jail. And then porn bombing me, making me lose channels to Danny Jones, police informant. you got to be joking. <laughs> 